Sub dudes and Lazy Spoil Kitty and Gavco. Dom here, obviously. I don't know why I always start a video with that. Anyway, this is a contest entry for the contest that is ran, run, or being ran by Lazy Spoil Kitty, Casper, and um, Gavco. Sorry, Dad, I don't know what your real name is. Anyway, let's get started with the um, contest parts. Um, the prize for the contest is a TLSK Lazy Spoil Kitty prototype knife. It's got orange and blue paper micarta handle. And it just looks awesome. And Gafco's going to be making a sheath for that. And a kayak sheath. So I figured I'd enter. Especially that I know Gafco. I don't know him well, but we'll do videos in the future, hopefully. If our schedules allow us to. So, yeah. Two thumbs up. Um, let's get started with my entry. Why I would like to have the knife. One reason is because I just think it's a unique looking blade. Like, it's very, very thin. It just looks awesome. I, I like the color handling. It's kind of like, okay, um, it sort of looks like international orange. But it's not. It's just construction paper. And the blue has a nice mix into it. And it's really thin. I like the thinness of it. And another reason why is because it would be my first fixed blade, and what better to have for, as my first fixed blade than instead of well, I'm not spending the money to see if I actually like them, I'll just win. I'll uh, if I win, I, I win it from a contest, and if I like it, then okay. Second reason, well, your second question is what I would use it for. Well, being that fixed blades are illegal to carry in New York City, and I have to take the subway, and there's a lot of cops around there. It's not too safe for me to be carrying an illegal blade. So, I would be using it for now. I would be using it for my work bunch knife. And I would swap back and forth between my widget dashi. And I would be using it a lot for upstairs work. Like, I would have it on me when I'm in the house. And, okay, let's say I want to cut up an orange. Normally I use this guy for cutting up oranges and fruit. But I would use that because... After all, he said it was a kitchen knife with 440 steel. So, why not? And, yeah, that's what I would use it for, pretty much. And when, if they magically change the life laws, life laws in New York City in the next two years, or I go somewhere where fixed blades are legal, I would definitely bring it with me. I know I will be using it a lot. I just like fixed blades, even though I don't own one. Like, okay, foldings for EDC, fixed blades, nice house knives. Like kitchen knives, except you don't use kitchen knives for opening boxes, unless you're an idiot. Um, what I think of the TL TLSK knives so far? Well, I how should I put this? Um, I fucking love them. They just look awesome, dude. It should, like... I want to get into custom knife making because I was inspired by you when you first started out. Gafco with his custom Kydex sheets. And then um, Red Gladius' awesome handle work and his experience with knife making. It's just like, okay, I see how I can get started out. And once I get enough money and save up for the better equipment, I can see what I can make these knives look like. And I'm, I'm kind of sort of artsy in a way. Like, I'm very creative. So I could, I could probably design a new handle for not a new hand like new handle scuffs in like five minutes, if I wanted to. I don't have the money, so there's no point in me doing that right now. But if I see like like if I actually have one of those custom fixed blades in my hand, I'll be like, okay, I can see how I I want I can see how this is I can use this or or like oh that's a cool little trick maybe I could try implementing that. Or, okay, see what he did here as far as, like, handling goes, like, tricks for handling, that kind of shit. So, it, it's benefiting me two ways. Like, okay, I got a kick-ass knife, but then it'll help me make kick-ass knives that hopefully if I get enough subscribers, I can use for contest. Or, being that I don't have a job right now, I can just start selling them and make them kitchen knives so they're legal. And, yeah. I'll just get, instead of 
the fixed blade blanks, I'll get kitchen knife blanks and I'll make them as sharp and as reliable as a folding as a fixed blade steel. So it would be it would be custom kitchen knives until fixed blades are illegal. I mean, until fixed blades are legal. Durr, until fixed blades are legal in New York City. New York City knife laws suck. Okay, anyway, uh, what the hell else do I want to say? I think I pretty much covered anything. Um, I'm subscribed to Gavco, obviously. Um, if you want to check ahead, uh, you can take my word on it. I'm pretty sure you've seen my comments in his videos, because I comment down almost every single one of them. Um, or you, if you talk to him, you can just ask him if he knows Dom at DA Productions Co. And I live in New York City. So, yeah. Because I remember I, I told him, like, oh, we live in the same city. What part do you live in? We went back and forth with that. And he said he, when I ordered the widget desk, he said he include I, that it was on the returning address that he lives in New York City and his address and all that. I'm like, oh, okay, I should have looked at that, but I didn't. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, um, good luck to anyone who's entered in the contest. If my, one of my subscribers magically watches this video, I'll leave the link in the description down there. I'll also I'll leave a link to Gavco's channel too. Shout out to Gavco to fifteen people that subscribed to me. Yay. Um okay, it's one o'clock in the morning, I have school tomorrow. I think I should go to bed. Peace!